What is up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm staying really consistent here. So if you're new, you might consider subscribing to my channel. Today, we're gonna follow the same theme as my last video. I covered my shoes at the last video. So if you wanna go check that out, I'll leave a card on the screen somewhere. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the pants I own. Not all the pants I own, but basically the ones that stay consistently in my rotation. And there are quite a few, so this might take a while. So I mean, you might consider getting yourself a glass of water or something. So I think pants are the most important thing in your outfit, really with pants, you can kind of switch up the vibe of your whole fit. And that's why I really have a lot of pants because then I can play with my outfits more and I can, and I can get different kinds of looks. So I have a lot of different pants in different materials, cuts, you know, all that. So first I'm gonna cover my vintage pants and my beater pants basically just the pants I can use for every occasion. And then after that, I'm going to go through my designer pants, which obviously have more uniqueness to them. And well, I generally like them more. But yeah, I think that's enough introduction. Let's get into the video. Make sure to leave a like since uh, there were a lot of pants I needed to pull out for this video. So, you know, respect me with that. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the pants, man. First off, we have this uh, nylon pair of vintage cargos in this kind of cream colorway. I've been using these a lot during the winter. They're easy to style with boots and are really pretty practical because they take care of the wind for you. And I mean, they're a decent pair of cargos. Bought these from a secondhand shop for three euros. So pretty much a steal right there, but let's keep it moving. Next up, we have another pair of vintage trousers, vintage leather trousers. These are one of my favorite pants. Was really lucky to come across these, paid probably like 25 euros. And these are genuine leather, really heavy, but I really like the cut of them. They sit nicely on shoes and uh, the leather is good quality. And these are really fun to style. I've styled a lot of outfits with these. I like to do a full leather look. That's kind of become a thing for me. But yeah, vintage black leather trousers, really not much more to say. Let's keep it moving, man. Next up, we have a beater, my Nike track pants in this navy colorway. I also found these at a secondhand shop for three euros as well. Really, these are kind of fun to style. I've been kind of putting them together with different kind of outfits, but basically a simple pair of track pants in the daily use. Next up, we have another pair of vintage trousers I've found at the, that I found at a second head shop again in a beige colorway. Uh, I think these are women's outerwear trousers, but they have a, nice fit to them and the material is good because the wind doesn't get through it uh, looks good with boots because of the kind of ski pant leg opening if you know what i mean kind of flares out here so with boots or with my hiking boots these go perfect and yeah really not much to say easy pair of pants from the second hand shop once again for a steal once again let's keep it moving man Next up, we have a pair of um, sweatpants from Cold Laundry. These are obviously in a brown colorway, a wide straight fit. Haven't really used these a lot right now, but they go decently with my DMA boots. Just a simple cozy pair of brown sweatpants. Next up, we have two pairs of Dickies pants. These are in a slim fit. I don't remember what the number was, but just basic black Dickies pants. I don't really need to say anything more about them. <laughs> you can use these every day, just the easy pair of pants. But yeah, let's get on to the next pair. 
So these are in a slim straight fit Dickies once again. I've hand distressed these myself. All the wear and tear is made by me. I've taken the Dickies tag off the back. Just basically they look like a pretty torn pair of olive trousers. These are easy to use. You can basically use these with anything. Just an olive pair of Dickies pants with some distressing, really kind of self-explanatory. So let's move on to the next pair. So for the next pair, uh, there are these vintage military pants, military cargo pants. I've got some paint accidentally on the back, but it really doesn't matter since these are kind of like a They've had some stains already on them, so, so it really doesn't matter. It has this waist adjusting system, so you can wear these higher or you can wear these lower, so you can kind of play with the fit with these. And yeah, I got these from London at Blitz, I think, way back. Simple pair of olive vintage cargo trousers. Let's keep it moving, man. Next up, we have a random pair of light blue jeans that I've cut at the bottom to kind of release the hem. Uh, just a simple pair of light blue jeans, perfect for the summer and really just easy to use. Next up, we have another pair of jeans that I found at the thrift store they're just these light blue kind of wide cut denim haven't used these a lot but they're just simple pair of jeans if you want to throw throw some uh wider fits these work good but then again i have cooler wider trousers so these have so these haven't really got much wear so that was the vintage and kind of beater section of the pants here so next up we have my designer pants. So let's get straight into them, man. Starting off with a banger, one of my favorite trousers at this moment, my Dries Van Noten black floral trousers made from viscose and cotton. As you can see, they're really flowy, have a nice texture to them. They have this floral print on them that can be kind of exposed when the sun hits them. Uh, but when it's dark, you can't really see them. So I think that's pretty cool floral trousers from Dries Van Noten, one of my favorites. Genuinely love these pants, man. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we have my Isimiyaki On Please pants. They're in the wider fit. I think they were like a straight fit or something, but in the widest cut that you can get them. Just, yeah, well, basically everyone knows these pants. Everyone knows about Isimiyaki On Please and the pants they make. So really not much point of me explaining these, but good during the summer, comfortable material and have a cool fit to them. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we have my Rick Owens Dark Shadow drop crotch trousers, have the pockets on the back and they're in this kind of weird material. I don't know what the material is, but sounds kind of like a track pant when you walk with them. But uh, really, pants you can use every single day. These are perfect. You can just throw them on with basically everything and these just work. Obviously with the drop crotch, they look a little bit more unique, but yeah, just a simple pair of Rick Owens drop crotch trousers. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we have one of my favorite pair of denim, these Jacques Mousse. Uh, Le Denim jeans in this light blue colorway. Absolutely beautiful color. Love wearing these. Can't wait for the summer so I can bust these out more. Light blue is my favorite color, so this really goes straight up my alley with the color. And yeah, the fit is good. It's a little wider and I tend to like wider trousers. But yeah, man, highly recommend getting into Jacques Mousse if you haven't. They have some really cool colors in their clothes, so, so you can kind of play with different things. Let's go on to the next pair. Next up, we have my favorite jeans at this moment. 
my Dior Cummerbund jeans from Autumn Winter 06, Eddie Slimon era. Kind of an iconic pair of pants already. The waist detailing is obviously the biggest reason that I gravitated towards when I was buying these pants. A black pair of jeans with a cool waist detail from Dior. Perfect quality, perfect fit. Love these pants, could wear them to death, man. Let's go on to the next pair. Next up, we have my Asics and Kiko Kostadinov quilted trousers. Have been perfect during the winter here in Finland. You don't get cold with these, uh, so they're in this quilted material. You know, kind of like jackets, if you know what I mean. Look cool have nice details with the gray hints everywhere and the, and the different sizes of stitching as you can see. But yeah, pants you can use every single day. Perfect for the winter, can pull off cool fits. Let's go on to the next pair. So next up we have two pairs of Acne Studios jeans. So first off we have my Acne Studios light blue distressed jeans from the archive sale so i got these for like 70 euros so a pretty good steal right there some nice details to a basic pair of trousers and kind of elevate the look of them in my opinion just a cool pair of light blue denim from acne studios so the quality is there too let's go on to the next pair so next up we have Another pair of Acne Studios denim. They're these black jeans. I don't remember what the fit was of them. I'll check if I can see it. Uh, Max used cash. So they're in the used black colorway. So not fully black as you can see. Have a little wear into the color, but yeah. Basic, basic pair of black denim from Acne Studios. Let's move on to the last pairs. So next up we have my Helmut Lang Cargos from, I think it was from 2017. Got these off an Essence sale for a stupid steal. Haven't really wear, worn them a lot, but might get into them in the near future. I don't really know. Just a slimmer pair of black Cargos from Helmut Lang. Let's go on to the last pair. So for the last pair here, we have my recent purchase, these Gucci skinny jeans with kind of these metal type logos from, you know, rock bands and stuff like that. Basically has Gucci written all over them. <laughs> I think it's just pretty cool. And I wanted a kind of loud pair of pants I can style in different ways, or maybe not in different ways, but you know, uh, get a different type of outfit with them. And I think with these pants, I can get off a whole different vibe than any other pair of pants I have right now. Really looking forward to wearing these pants more and getting some outfits with them. So if you want to see fits with these jeans, you might consider subscribing to my Instagram. I don't know. So for the last pair of pants, we have the pants I'm wearing right now. My Alix tactical pants one of my favorite pair of pants at the moment super nice material um i don't know what the material was it was i think it's probably polyester but it's it's super comfortable has the uh cargo pockets on the side and more pockets on the legs and then you have these straps you can adjust the fit with really like these pants get a lot of wear out of them if anyone wants a comfortable pair of black cargo trousers that you can use in every occasion because these are lightweight also, so you can pull these off at the summer easily. Highly recommend these Alix Tactical Pants, last pair of pants. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I just kind of wanted to show you guys different pairs of pants. If you got any inspiration, out of these jeans then that was my job well done hopefully you did thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a like 
I'll see you guys really soon. Peace out.